Men, if you want a stronger penis, if you want to have a better erection, if you want to have a stronger orgasm, more pleasurable orgasm, all that stuff, the best exercise that you can do for that is a Kegel. So in this video, I have brought along Lance Frank, physical therapist and pelvic floor specialist, to teach us exactly how to do a Kegel. So you're going to learn how to do that, what to focus on. We're also going to give you a proper workout for Kegel, how many reps you should do, how long you should hold it for, frequency, all that stuff. And hopefully within a month, you're going to have the strongest penis you've ever had. So uh, Lance, take it away. Okay. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to have you drop down onto the ground. The best way to really isolate and feel the pelvic floor muscles being recruited is lying on your back with your knees up, ideally supported by pillows on either side. But if you don't have that, straight up is completely fine. So with this, we're really thinking about the part of the body that's touching, think about sitting on a bike seat. We're thinking about the part of the body that's touching that bike seat. So whenever you're doing these contractions, that's where I want you to channel your mental energy. So to do one of these contractions, you're gonna think about trying to stop the flow of urine or trying to hold in a fart like you're trying to prevent gas from escaping. These are common cues. Some other common cues, if you have a penis and you have ever had an erection, I'm sure most of us have ever tried to make it jump whenever it's fully erect, that's also doing a pelvic floor contraction. So think about trying to make your penis jump with it fully erect. Those are the same muscles that we're trying to target. So whenever we're talking about Kegels, these are the muscles that we're recruiting. And these are the muscles pretty much located under or in your gooch or in your perineum or whatever that Right, that directly area. between the testicles and the anus, that space around there, most people call it the taint or the gooch, that's what we're trying to isolate. So you're thinking of channeling mental energy down in between your legs to try to recruit and strengthen and pull those muscles up and in. So with this, it's also important to incorporate our breath with it as well. So you're gonna take a big breath in, try to expand through the belly, and then on the exhale, you're gonna think about squeezing and pulling the pelvic floor muscles all the way up and in, trying to draw the penis up, lift the testicles up off the floor, tighten the sphincter. Inhale, let all that tension go. Good, exhale, try to squeeze, pull the pelvic floor, tighten the sphincter, lift the testicles, make the penis jump. Good, inhale and relax. Okay, so this is where I always teach people where to start, but the natural progression of these, the first one is just in a sitting position. So sit in a kind of a butterfly position, however's comfortable. Can we use a block if we're tight hips? Yeah. Cool. Good. So sitting on a yoga block, it's kind of crisscross position. It's the same kind of cueing that we were just working on. So you're gonna take a big breath in, try to relax through the abdomen. Good, exhale, squeeze, pull the pelvic floor, the part of the body that you're sitting on the block, thinking about recruiting those muscles. Inhale, let all of that go, try to relax through the abdomen, and then exhale, big squeeze, pull up and in like you're trying to make the penis jump, try to make the penis shorter, lift the testicles. Good, inhale, relax that. And we'll do one more. Exhale, squeeze, pull through the pelvic floor, tighten the sphincter, inhale, release. Good. So once you get good at laying on the floor, you feel like you've got a good grip of those muscles, you're able to recruit with the breath, move into sitting, and then the next progression is in a standing position. This is the most, in a static position, where you're not really moving, this is the most difficult because you're having to resist the force of gravity pulling everything down. So in this position, cueing all still applies. So you're gonna think about inhaling, relaxing through the abdomen, expanding through the pelvic floor, and then exhale, try to squeeze, draw the testicles up off the floor, try to make the penis jump or make the penis shorter, tighten the sphincter, inhale, let all of that go. Exhale, squeeze, pull, draw everything up and in. And then one more inhale, let all that tension go. Exhale, squeeze, pull the pelvic floor, pull the draw the penis up and in, lift the testicles up off the floor, inhale, release. If you guys like this topic and you're interested in more, I have a free seven day sexual wellness challenge. Once the video is finished, Link in the description and sign up.
Yeah. So as I'm doing this, I'm also feeling a lot of transverse abdominal activity, like just basically right in here. So the deepest layer of the abdominal wall and the pelvic floor are best friends. They co co-recruit with one another. So you literally can't do a pelvic floor contraction without doing an some type of an abdominal wall contraction. So it's normal to feel that sort of lower abdomen contraction when this turns on as well. Got it. And what if you did this and it didn't like click right away? How do we get better at getting that muscle memory? Practice makes perfect. So just keep practicing and if people have a hard time getting the actual Kegel or pelvic floor or the penis muscles to contract, sometimes I'll have them actually start with an abdominal contraction, doing a TA engagement mm -hmm. to help kind of connect those dots as well. Got it. So if we want to work on strengthening our penis, if we want to do these on a regular basis, how often should we be doing them? How many reps? How many sets? What's like a typical workout look like? So once a day doing 10 to 20 reps of each of these exercises in various positions is adequate. You don't want to be doing a thousand of these Kegels every single day because that might cause some other types of issues to arise. But for just general strengthening, 10 to 20 a day with all this breath work in various positions is adequate. Got it. And if we do do this consistently, what are like typical or what are realistic results or improvements that we might notice? People might notice an increased firmness in their erection quality. People might increase or notice an increase in the intensity of orgasms or the intensity of their ejaculations. Just increased sexual pleasure all around is our usual benefits. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Lance. Guys. Go check out Lance. Lots of really helpful information on pelvic floor health. He's on TikTok, Instagram at Lance in your pants. And then if you like this video, be sure to like it. Leave a comment if you have some feedback or you want to see some other videos with Lance. Subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and workouts. And if you're looking for a free sexual wellness challenge, I've got a link in the description below. You can sign up for that for free. And if you want to get started on that first workout right now, go ahead and click this video right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video soon.